Hi folks! So we learned how to set up the chemistry for the darkroom. Now let's talk about when we tear it down at the end of the day. Um, if the chemistry has been refreshed and it still um, has a lot of longevity to it, so say we just have brand new chemistry at the end of the night and it hasn't been used that much so it's still going to be good, um, we can cover them up with trays and just leave a note um, in the logbook that we're doing that. But if the chemistry has been out for a while and we just need to hit the reset or clean up for the, at the end of the night, uh, then we're going to go ahead and do that now. Um, so first things first, um, as I start with the tongs, um, this um, handle over here, if we turn that on, you'll see that we have these sort of jets that clear the side water out. I'll take these off and throw them in the, in the troughs. So, developer, that can go right down the drain with lots of water. So again, I still have the water coming down from the side. Cleaners here. I then rinse the tray too. You can see there's still a lot of color coming out, so I'm going to rinse it again. You can also use the sprayer too, if you find that more helpful. And always check the backs and sides of the trays. We have a little spot there on the sink, and that will just wash right away. Alright, let me set that off to the side. Stop bath, same as developer, can go right down the sink with lots of water to follow it. And just like before, I'm going to also rinse the tray a couple times on the inside and outside. So fixer, I'm going to turn this off for volume reasons. So the fixer cannot go down the drain. Um, it's a really harsh chemical, so we go through a special reclamation process. So for this, we need to use Bertha. Uh, and Bertha is found right outside the door there. Normally this card of chemistry is in here, we're just waiting for that to get picked up at the university, but this is Bertha. She's our fun friend. So I've pulled Bertha as close to the edge as I can. Um, if you notice, there's a pore spout on the fixer. Go ahead and plug it out, just cut it out. Okay. Alright, so I've pulled Bertha up to the edge here and taken the lid off. Um, if you notice that there is a pore spout on these trays, so I'm going to pull this as close as I can. And if this is really full, um, it might be hard, so be very gentle. I'm going to just lift this up and I'm going to just dump this right down into the main basin. Alright, so 99% of the fixer is in Bertha. Don't breathe while, this, while you're over top of this. Um, it, the fumes are not very fun. We're going to set this off to the side, uh, but just pretend that I've done that. Now I still want to rinse this tray out. If a tiny bit of fixer gets in the gets down the water system, that's okay. Again, we've reclaimed 99% of it here. Again, from
front and back of the trays. Make sure to shake them out a little bit. Set them off to the side. And then the last thing we have to clean up is just the water. And that water's turned off. This is just water, and I sometimes just use this to help clear the whole surface. Close up. These are the extra trays we didn't need. I'm flipping these over and over again because we can get water built up in these little channels. Last thing we want to do is retrieve our tongs. And we're going to put them after they've been washing this whole time. So they usually get about five, ten minutes of washing in the water. Um, we're going to set them so that they straddle the edge of our cups. And then when we're all cleaned up, we're going to not forget to fill out the logbook that we've cleaned up chemistry at the end of the night.